Hello, Blanca. How are you today? Eugenia, very good. Very early today, too. Yeah, I'm early. Okay, very good. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Very good. So, how was your weekend, Alicia? Uh, hello, my weekend was um, good. I rested a lot and uh, I cooked. I, I, <laughs> I did a, a, a corn cake, a corn cake. <laughs> Cornbread. Cornbread. Uh, yeah. Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Okay. What about you, Eugenia? What did you um, do on your weekend? Did you rest? Did you yeah, did you go to the beach? <laughs> no, just in my house. Just in your house. Yes, in my imaginary beach. <laughs> just emotional. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, just stay in my house. Um, I recover for my eyes infection. I apply the medic. The medicine. Medic. The medicine. The medicine. Uh, the medicine. The medicine. Uh -huh. And I, I feel much better. And, and just read. I love. I read a lot of novel in wet novels. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like a lot. But be careful, <laughs> be careful with your eyes, okay? Hello, yeah. how are you today? How was you? Hello. <laughs> was good, was good, interesting. Uh, I take uh, some decision this weekend. <laughs> so. oh, you, I made, I made some decision. I made. Uh -huh. Okay, I made some okay. decision because I decided to change move from my house for other place. Ah, so you are going to move? Yes, uh, and I will go in, no, I will go to yeah, move you know? next week. Ah, are you moving next week? Are you moving near near where you live or are you moving far from where you live? Near, near yeah, is in, yeah. in the same neighborhood. Neighbor? Neighborhood. Yes. The same neighborhood. Na neighborhood. <laughs> okay, hey, that's great. That's great. Well, when are you going to move? Uh, I hope this uh, next weekend. This weekend or the following weekend? At this the weekend. end of August. <laughs> At the end of August. At the end of August, yes. Uh, at the end of August, okay, very good. And Osman, hey, when you move, okay, uh, you're gonna move your internet service too, right? So, yes, I get a very yes. good internet <laughs> service, okay? So you can uh, yes. enjoy your classes, okay? What about you, Osman? How was hey. your weekend? Hey, good evening, nice to see you, everybody. Good evening. My weekend was uh, the same, uh, easy. I, I was, uh, I spent uh, at home Sunday and Saturday. Resting? Uh, resting, yes, resting. Uh, almost, al almost always uh, I, watched, I watched movies because my hobby is watch movies. Oh, okay, very good, excellent. Yes. Okay. Yes, I enjoy it a lot. I enjoy it a lot. Okay, Watch very movie. good. So now we're ready to rock and roll in English, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's, because let's we are see. rested now, so we are ready, right? Okay, very yes. good. That's great. That's great that you had a. All of you have rested. Okay, the yes. ones that were the, the ones that were sick are better now. Okay, so yes, good. Okay, very good. Okay. Was nice. Okay, excellent. Very good. Very good. Now, uh, this is what we have for today. Okay, let me show you. Okay, today we are going to continue with, with, with unit number two. 
Can you see? Okay. Uh -oh. uh, teacher, uh, only cuatro, or only four classmates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hey, know. What's but up? What, what's pro up? Probably the other name. ones. Probably the other ones. There's a problem. Yeah. Well, but okay. I believe they are on the way home. Okay. We had two points. Yes. <laughs> no problem. Uh, we will we will discuss the platform today when everybody is okay. in, because uh, I notify some mistakes that the platform had. And I thought that by Friday, they were going to be corrected, but they weren't. Only one was corrected. The one about the chocolate was not corrected, okay? But they will correct it. So you can do it again, and I will change your, uh, your grade, okay? Hello? Okay, okay. Okay, okay. very good, very good. Okay, now the same thing, okay? A students collaboration, right? So attendance is important. What you are doing is great. That's the way we learn English, by talking every day, okay? So you must attend sessions every day. Attendance will be taken twice on each session and you should have a camera on when saying present and students must, be, must say it verbally, okay? Now next is the platform completion. Tasks should be done daily and weekly task completion grade will be uploaded weekly. Students should participate on the forum after every session. Okay, whenever we have a forum, okay? And today's video conference number 11, how to use transition words of addition, transition or other people call it transition of uh, expressions of addition. So the objective is to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of implementing a focus group to test a product. Practicing using transition words of addition, okay? And the agenda will be review previous class, study transition words of addition, practice using transition words of addition, and organize a plan to run a focus group to assess customers' perception of a new product. Okay, that's what we are going to do tonight, all right? Very good. Okay. And for that, I need you that you go to your books, okay? On page number 20. 20 on page 20 something that you already saw okay now let's before we do that i want to welcome everybody okay let's see who is here uh osman beatriz welcome beatriz how are you today hi teacher and um, i'm fine Okay, how was your weekend, Beatriz? Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Why? Tell us. Mm, sounds interesting. Well, because I was passing in my home and I make uh, some homeworks of the university, and also I was passed with my uh, brothers, and and just for that, I I was relaxed in my home. This okay, weekend. and Beatriz, what do you study in the university? I'm studying international affairs. Wow, very good, excellent, congratulations. And I hope that you do the best, okay? Yeah, thank okay. you. Very good, and Daniel, what can you tell us, Daniel? How was your weekend? Hello. Hello. Yeah. How All was your weekend, Daniel? It was good? All good. Too. Ah, yes. why? What did you do? I visited my mother. Ah, you visited your mother. Spend time with the mother. Yeah. Okay, very good. What else? Yeah. Um, the Saturday, uh, I stay in home and I rest with my 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 daughters and my host my 
Wife, uh, wife. Uh, my wife. Yes, yes, my wife. Yes, my wife. Yes. Yes. There, okay? yes, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's right. okay, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, some people might almost, almost. understand that, right? Okay, so. <laughs> yeah. okay, very good, very good. What about you, Oscar? How was your weekend? Uh, it was good, I think. I watched the Champions League and I was studying about some homework, homework in my work and the platform activities. And Sunday, I just relaxed. I watched the uh, TV and series in Netflix. Ah, okay, Netflix. very good, great, great. What about you, Veronica? How was your weekend? Uh, uh, good evening, my weekend was uh, uh, relaxed. Uh, I can watch movies and rest. And rested, rested. And rested. Okay, very good, that's excellent. So I am very happy that everybody has rested because we are going to talk a lot because you are relaxed, right? So you can talk <laughs> a lot today, tonight, okay? Very good. So I was saying, today we are going to work on most of it, most of the class will be aimed to the use of transition words, okay? Now, let's see. Okay, now you remember on page 20, on page 21, remember that we practice this conversation, right? On page 21. Can you see it? Yeah. Yes. Okay, now, and the words or expressions that are in bold are in addition and furthermore, okay? <laughs> so these are considered transition words. Now, to start, let's see what are trans transition words, okay? So... <laughs> Michelle, I have, have a question. Yes, sir. Uh, when you say in addition and furthermore, uh, I, I had to to know uh, the the meaning is, is is the same. The meaning is is similar. Let, let's say not the it's same. Similar. Sil, sil, uh, similar. I understood. I understood. Uh, furthermore, is when when I speak more formal. It's correct. Uh, yes. Furthermore, is more formal. Okay, but but they the meaning is similar. Similar. Okay. okay? So, very good. Now, let me show you here. Okay. Can you see on the screen transition words? Yes. Okay. What yes. are transitions and how are they used? Okay. Somebody read this, please. Number one. Transitions, transitions are, transitions. are phrases. Go ahead. Don't be. Don't be shy. Transition or process. Transition and process or word you said to connect one idea to the next. Uh -huh. Okay. So, very good. Transitions are words, sometimes words like furthermore or expressions or phrases used to connect one idea to the next. Sometimes, sometimes they connect sentences and sometimes they connect paragraph okay because when we say one idea to the next an idea can be expressed in one sentence or the idea can be expressed in one paragraph is that clear okay there is some background noise can you turn off your, your microphone please Thank you. Very good. Yeah, a lot of noisy. Yeah, there is background noise. Okay, now, 
Uh, another volunteer to read this, please. Transitions. Transitions are used by the author to help the reader progress from one significant idea to the next. Okay, now pronunciation, used. Used. Used, used, with used. D at the end, used. Transition are used. Uh -huh. By the used. author. By the author. To help the reader progress from one significant idea to the next, okay? To help the reader. Okay, okay, very good. Now, another volunteer to read transitions. Transitions okay. also show the relationship within a paragraph uh -huh. or within a sentence between the main idea and the support the author gives for those ideas. Uh -huh. Okay, sometimes the author, in order to express his idea, he presents a sentence. And to support the idea, he needs more information and in order to connect to join those uh, sentences or ideas they use transitions okay now the last one who can read the last one please different only one only one please different transitions do different things uh-huh different transitions do different things now here we have transitions additive transitions so that means addition the meaning is addition okay so that means to add to sum uh, an idea so you see we have all these we have all these expressions that we can use. Okay, the background noise. Can you turn off that microphone, please? Okay, thank you. Okay, so uh, all these words are used to join one idea to another one. Okay, now uh, today's uh, lesson refers only to a, a transition addition. A transitions of addition okay but as you can see there are more transitions there are transitions of introduction such as this one transitions of reference all these expressions give I mean join ideas but with the meaning of reference similarity so all these join ideas or sentences in a sense of similarity, identification, clarification, conflict, emphasis, concession, dismissal, replacement, cause or reason, condition, effect and result, purpose, consequence, so you see, we have all these types of transitions, okay? And this is the first link, this is the first link that you have in the, in the, this is the first link that I send you, you remember? I send you a, a worksheet, I send you this worksheet with all these links, okay? So the first link is the one that we just studied. Are we clear? Hello? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good, very good. So if you want to study them deeply, deeply, Go ahead and open them and do and do them, okay? No problem. Okay, let's move on. I need to move on on this, okay? So, uh, and at the end, yeah, there are like 200 transition words, okay? So that is that. The next one is, I don't know if you are, what are you looking at? Are you looking at the, Are you looking at this? Yes. Yes. Okay, so transitions for giving more examples and information. Okay, 
So transitions are words that help connect ideas in a paragraph or paragraphs. Example, when you are giving many examples or ideas in the body of a paragraph, you should try to introduce each idea with a transition word. You should not start a sentence with an. There are many transitions. So that means all these, all these that I have right here are similar to say also. They are similar to say and, okay? For example, in addition or additionally. In addition and additionally, somebody read this, please. Uh, Veronica, read it, please. Okay, in addition uh, and additionally, I used to give more information about something. When you write a formal easy, essay, essay you should not start a sentence with the word and. You and, can often, and. and. You can often use in addition or additionally instead of and. Instead of and. Okay, for example, I studied journalism in college. In addition, I had a part-time job at a newspaper. I joined the guitar club and the math club at, in school. Period, you see, that's one sentence. Additionally, I went on a camping trip with the debate team. Is that clear? Yeah. Hello, is that clear? Yes, okay. yes, very, yes very teacher. All right, very simple. Okay, number two, volunteer to read. Furthermore, and moreover are also very formal. And they are basically the same as in addition. And additionally, we often use moreover and furthermore when we talk about our opinions. Okay, that's what uh, Osman was telling us, right? That furthermore and moreover are more formal, okay? So when you are going to give an opinion, you got to be a little, you know, formal in order not to hurt people's feelings or not to... Uh, make a variant in the conversation, okay? So let's see, first example, uh, Beatriz. Smoking is a bad habit because it smells bad and it can damage your health. Furthermore, it is a very expensive habit. It is a very expensive habit. And in here, Look, in here, cigarette, a pack of cigarette costs around three, three dollars, three fifty, maybe four dollars. But in the United States, they cost eight dollars or nine dollars, one pack of cigarette. In Europe, a pack of cigarette costs like 12 to 15 pounds, right? So it's very expensive. The next one, uh, let me see who else we have there, Oscar. Okay, the politician is too old to be our president. Moreover, moreover, he is not trustworthy. Trustworthy. Okay, very good. And you see, politics is the science. Politicians are the ones that practice politics. So these are the politicians. Okay, questions? Trustworthy, do you understand what is the meaning of trustworthy? No. No. Okay. No. Trustworthy is a person that you trust is trustworthy. A person that you don't trust is not trustworthy. Do you understand trust? Yes. yes. Confiar. So no es confiable. Moreover, huh, like our politicians, they are not trustworthy, right? Yes. Okay, very good. Now, let me see. Before I continue, I, I see that we have... Ah, Rafael, welcome! Hello, teacher. How are you doing? All right. How was your weekend? It was good, teacher. It was good. Now okay. I'm here. Did you rest? A little bit. A little bit. Okay, very good. 
Yes, Let's see because who I else is it. here. Rafael and Yader. Welcome, Yader. Hello, Yader. How are you? Hi, great, teacher. Thank ah, you. Okay. How was your weekend? Very hard. Very, very, very hard. hard. Oh, I'm sorry for yes. you because everybody has had a very rested weekend. Okay, some of them they say it was wonderful. Okay, very good. Annie Nunez, welcome, Annie. How was your weekend, Annie? Turn on your microphone, Mrs. Nunez. Hello, Mrs. Nunez. Bessie, how are you, Bessie? Turn on your microphone, Bessie. How was your weekend, Bessie? Hello, good evening. How, hello, how was your weekend? It was very nice. Um, sharing with my cluster at home, working. Making homework of English class. Ah, okay. Eating, sleeping. Excellent. That is great. Yeah. That is great. Very good. Okay. Uh, okay. So we were saying, okay, we are working with transition words. Okay. Now, uh, Bessie, can you read the, the next sentence? This sentence, please. Which one? Uh, students? Yes, yeah, students. That one? The students are given too many tests these days. Moreover, they don't have enough free time. Okay, very good. Very good. Excellent. Very Thank good. You. Yes? Okay, uh, the next one will be Daniel. Read this one, please. Human beings must take care of their environment. Environment, environment. Environment. We should drive more full efficient cars, efficient cars, and we should recycle. Recycle, recycle. Recycle. Excellent. Furthermore, we should stop business, businesses. Businesses, plural, right? Businesses. Businesses from pollute. Polluting, polluting, polluting the environment. 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 Everybody repeat after me. Environment. 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 Okay, very good. Okay, so do you have any questions? Now, take a look. When, take a look. When I have the first sentence and I initiate Another sentence with a transition word, a comma, is necessary after the transition word. Did you get that? Yes. We have yes. one sentence and then I'm going to add yes. another uh, sentence using a transition. A comma is necessary. Okay? A comma is necessary. Okay, can you see students are given too many tests these days? Period, one sentence. Moreover, a comma is necessary. Moreover, they don't have enough free time. And the same happens here. Human beings must take care of their environment. We should drive more, full, more fuel efficient cars and we should recycle. Furthermore, we should stop businesses from polluting the environment. Are we clear? Yes. Very good, very good. Now, we have other transitions, plus and as well. Okay, so I need a volunteer. Let me see which of the volunteer I'm going to use now. Annie, Annie, can you read please? Plus as well, plus. Miss, uh, Mrs. Annie Nunez, turn on your microphone, please. 
Okay, Rafael, read this, please. Plus. Plus N, as well can be formal or informal. As well, I use it at the end of a sentence. That is correct. Okay, plus and as well can be formal or informal. And as well is used at the end of a sentence. Okay, that is when we say así como también, as well. Is that clear? Okay. Okay, now, uh, Blanca, read number one, please. Blanca. Ah, Blanca is not here. Alicia, read number one. That car has new brakes, an air conditioner, and a new CD player. Plus, it has an alarm. Plus, it has an alarm. Very good. Okay, read number two. Ninive. The type who destroyed my cousin's home, and it destroyed his car as well. Uh -huh. The typhoon destroyed my cousin's home and he destroyed his car as well. Okay, very good. What does that mean, ty typhoon? Typhoon is a, a hurricane. Now, in America, we call them hurricanes. In Asia, they call them typhoons. Is that clear? Hello, is that yes. clear? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. it's a typhoon. Okay. When, when nobody answers, you know, I'm uh, probably it's not clear, you know. Okay, very good. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me see. Eugenia, read the next one, please. My grandfather. My, my grandfather fell into wars and he traveled around the world. He ran his own business as well. Okay, very good. Very good. And the last one, eh, Veronica? Yes. Um, hi, sorry. The last. Eh, the last, yes. The computer is way too expensive. No. The computer is way too expensive. Plus is not even that good. Plus is not even that good. So it's not of high quality or top of the line. Okay, very good. Note, if the sentence is negative, use either instead of as well. For example, I like math and I like science as well, because both of them are affirmative. Now, if they are negatives, you're going to say, I don't like math and I don't like science either. Is that clear? Yeah. Hello? Yes. Yes? Yes, yes teacher. Okay. Yes. Now, yes, of this course. is the tragic story. Also, this link, this link that you see there, that link is on the links that I send you. Okay? On the sheet that I send you is the second link. Okay? Is this link right here. Okay? Let me see. Let me see. I want to see if that is correct. The information that I'm giving you. Yes, just sent. Yes, okay, very good. So now we're gonna go to this link. Okay, the third link. Okay, the third link. And I'm gonna place it on the chat, okay? Okay, right here, I'm pasting that on the chat. Okay, so you can see it on the chat, on the chat room. Hello, Vanessa, how are you today? Hi, hello. Hello, how was your weekend, Vanessa? Mm, tired, I'm, I'm work. You weekend. have to work, oh. Yes. We are so sorry for you, okay? I'm so sorry for me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, so, and on the third link, we have this exercise, okay, that I have right here, okay? 
is about the same thing, okay? So, the only thing that here we have all these other uh, transition words, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. In contrast and all that. So, this exercise, I want you to do it. And you can see the answers right here, okay? But it is for you to understand and to use them, okay? For example, number one, also online learning has both advantages and disadvantages. The benefits far outweigh the drawbacks, okay? So we are not going to do them because they require other transition words besides the transition words of addition, okay? So what we are going to do is that we are going to go to the book on page 22, okay? Do you have page 22 with you? Page 22? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Everybody. Yes, teacher. Yes, very good. Okay, I need now. Because I already explained you this, this is going to be a piece of cake for you, okay? So go ahead. Okay, how to use transitions of additions, okay? Beatriz, start reading, please. Transitions. Okay. Transition words like in addition, furthermore, moreover, and besides, add, add, add information, reinforce ideas, and express agreement with ideas that have been pre present presented previously. Uh -huh. Presented, right? Is the past tense. Present, present is in the base form and presented is in the past. Presented previously. Yes. Okay, very good. Osman, can you read the, in the sentence? Go ahead. Osman, are you there? Yes, teacher. Here I am. Okay. In the sentence, we we work with target, targeted, 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 or random samples. In addition, we need to discuss who will be hosting each group and the location for each of each. Right. So we will work with targeted or random samples, and I want to give more information on that. So. We need to discuss who will be hosting each group and the location of this. Okay, very good. Uh, Jader, read letter B, please. B. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. 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 Ah, okay, create. Create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. Very good, so that was B. Now, now, can you see? I use furthermore and a comma is necessary after the transition. I use in addition and a comma is necessary after the transition. Okay, letter C, Oscar. Okay. In order to select a focus group to, to test a product, it's important to gather a group of participants who make direct use of the final product or service. Moreover, it is necessary to choose a moderator, moderator, moderator. moderator for every group. Okay, very good. Now, can you see? Very simple, right? Now, let's go and talk about the punctuation. Punctuation, okay? Alicia, start reading, please. Notice. Notice that the transitions in addition and furthermore in A and B are preceded by a question mark and a period and followed by a comma. Okay, so notice the positions in addition and furthermore in A, letter A, are preceded by a question mark, okay? And followed by a comma. Can you see here? Okay. Yes. There is the comma, right? Okay, very good. Okay, in letter C, uh, let me see. 
Eh, Vanessa, read in letter C, please. Okay. In transition, moreover, is preceded by a... Preceded, preceded. Preceded, preceded by a semi... semi I don't know what you say. Semicolon semi and follow... And, and followed by a comma. Okay, now... Can you see here? Peter, what is the meaning semicolon? Okay, this is a semicolon. Okay, a colon. Son los dos puntos. Uh, el semicolon es punto y coma. Punto y coma, okay. Okay, now. Oh. Can you see here? The, the transition word is preceded by a question mark. So that is a complete question, a complete yeah. sentence. So... Okay. Okay. The transition word is preceded by a comma. Here, you start, you start the sentence. So, only is preceded by a comma. Now, here, we have two ideas in the same sentence. Two ideas in the same sentence. Okay? So, the transition word is preceded by a semicolon. Okay, and it's followed by a comma. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. So, yes, teacher. So, in other words, when we have two sentences, and I'm going to join the two sentences, I need the addition word, I mean, the transition word followed by a comma. That's all. But when I'm going to join two ideas in the same sentence, then I need the semicolon preceding the transition word, and then the comma following the transition word. Is that clear? Okay. Yes? Yes. Yes, okay. yes teacher. Now, take a look here. Uh, uh, Veronica, read this, please. The decision. The decision to separate the two ideas with a period question. Mark plus transition or with a semicolon plus transition is a matter of, of personal style. Okay, that is a matter of personal style. This is the recommended. Okay, this is the recommended, but you can use your own personal style. Okay, but this is what they recommend. If you are going to end a sentence and start it with a transition word, only place the comma following the transition word. But if you are going to join two ideas in the same sentence, okay, recommended, preceding the transition word, write a semicolon. And after the transition word, a comma, okay? Now, here, write 10 line paragraph about the advantages and disadvantages of implementing a group to test a product so this is what you are going to do okay so all those ideas are going to be like number one number two number three all what you're gonna do you are going to use transition words okay use the transitions of addition and the following advantages and disadvantages for example okay you are going to do this in groups Okay, now advantages, disadvantages, not enough stereotypes in the selected audience. Okay, you understand what is the meaning of stereotypes, right? Yes. So diversity, yes. we need diversity, right? Yes. Okay, yes. so not enough stereotypes. Okay, not considering that the participants are part of the target language and dominant personality within the group. So you're gonna say, for example, uh, an advantage, a disadvantage of uh, implementing a focus group is not having enough stereotypes in the selected audience, okay? In addition, not considering that the participants are part of the target language. And then, furthermore, or plus, or besides because you can use all these transition words to do that in addition 
Furthermore, moreover, and besides. So you can use all of them. Okay? Okay. Okay, so go ahead. And the same thing you are going to do with the advantages. You're going to say, hey, one of the advantages of uh, having a focus group, implementing a focus group is relatively inexpensive. Furthermore, in addition, or besides, or uh, moreover, a variety of opinions. Okay, is that clear? Okay, so I'm going to place you in groups. And you are going, all of you are going to write on your own notebook uh, your paragraph. But you are going to decide it in groups. Is that clear? In groups of three. So I'm going to divide you. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let me put this away. Okay, very good. So, okay, so we have 15 participants. Okay, so we want five groups okay five groups uh okay here we go okay go ahead join the groups and make your paragraph please okay okay join alvaro is here okay very good Ani Nunez. Ani, please join the group, please. Okay? understood yet but what what is our new product we're gonna create one no no right now you are not going to create so you only going to write about the advantages and here are the advantages one okay one of the advantages of implementing a focus group is relatively uh, inexpensive right so you're gonna use a, a transition word, period, right? Period. Okay. Then in addition, or furthermore, or besides, you can also get you can also get a variety of opinions. In a, in addition, you get a variety of opinions. Ah, okay. Then furthermore, and then you okay, that's all you're gonna do. Right, write the advantages and disadvantages. One paragraph with the advantages and one paragraph with the disadvantages. Are we clear? Okay. Yep. okay, very good, go ahead. Very good, excellent. I'm gonna leave you so you can write, okay? Now, put okay. your ideas together. You may want to start right here and end right here. So the, the order, it doesn't matter, all right? Okay. Okay, very good. I'm gonna leave you guys, bye. 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 Uh, I can. Share my screen. My Share screen. Your screen. My screen, and if you like, we gonna we can do a storm. I don't know how to say uh, idea.
brainstorm. Brainstorm. Brainstorming. Brainstorming. Exactly. Audience. You uh -huh. focus. You get focus and just for example, if you use uh, soccer. Okay, first I, okay. I think, Fred, I think that uh -huh. we need to establish how we're going to start the paragraph. Yes. Okay. Mm. Uh, we begin. We can begin with advantages. Advantages. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And you can say one one of the advantages. One of the advantages uh -huh. of implementing a focus group to test a product is yes. Okay. Okay. And then, moreover, but write it. Write it. Everybody has to write okay. it. Okay. 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 And remember, the punctuation is important. Punctuation is important. Okay. Okay. So you make okay. one paragraph with disadvantages and mm -hmm. one paragraph with advantages. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. I'm gonna leave. It's you. one. It's one paragraph for advantages and yeah. one paragraph for disadvantages. That is correct. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. 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 Very good. I'm a little loose. Have to use in addition. Furthermore, whatever and the time. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you? Yeah, that is correct. For example, you can start the paragraph like this. Okay, one of the advantages or one of the disadvantages of implementing a focus group to test a new product is, and then you select which one do you want to put first. The order uh, is not important, okay? Okay. And then okay. in addition, the second one. Furthermore, the third one. No. But use punctuation. You remember? Yes. The transition word after the first sentence, period, the transition word, then a comma. Okay. okay. If you are not going to put a period before the transition word, semicolon. You remember? Then the transition word, then the comma. Is that clear? So one paragraph for the advantages and one paragraph for the disadvantages okay 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 very good so you determine the order okay as you wish okay i'm gonna leave you i'm gonna go to another group okay thank you Chief. okay okay very good very good okay veronica yes one moment we need to make a sentence. Yes. Okay. Okay, okay. I need right. Yeah, that's the reason I say I'm not. 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 But I can I can write in a Okay. Okay, my down, 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 down. Oh, below. I think it below is, is down. Okay, understand, understand. Okay, stay. Okay, Kenya, go to. How uh, is right we and like paragraph about that? We only details. have to uh, order, organize the ideas. Okay. Okay. One of the this this advantages. Okay. This moment. No, can afford this kind of the test. Mm -hmm. Which means. Everybody can afford this kind of the test. <clears throat> mm. But we can they use we can. furthermore and and in addition. Yes. 
I think that we can write in addition now. Okay, and write in addition. A second advantage could be. Uh huh. About the a second opinion. advantage. Uh -huh. Is a variety of opinions. Turn on your, mic your microphone, Mrs. Nunez. Mrs. Nunez, can you hear me? Turn on your microphone, Mrs. Nunez. Can you hear me? An opinion. But I, but uh, this is the same idea you, you see? because I write, I write it. Furthermore, this group, this focus group, accurate and invested opinions. Hmm. Sorry for the mistake. Okay, I think that it could be furthermore, this uh, focus test. Mm -hmm. I love the. Who the companies wow. or or allowed? Do you know what meaning of allowed? Yes, yes. But in this case, it would be allow the companies or allow to the customers. Companies, right? Mm -hmm. Companies. Allow companies to accurate and. Or it could be to get. Uh -huh. Allow customers to get. Uh -huh. To get, exactly. Okay, very good, very good. Get what? Accurate, uh, the third advantage, accurate and ambassive opinions. Unbiased. Okay, and I. Unbiased. 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 Okay, and then uh, I erase the. I erased the, 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 the last idea. I, okay, uh, the last suggestion. I will write, furthermore, these focus groups allows the companies to get accurate and unbiased uh, Opinion. opini opinions. Very okay. good, very good. But the question is, do we have to write companies or the customers? No, because this is for the company. Okay, so company. Yeah, this is the, company. remember, the benefits of getting accurate and unbiased opinions is a information that is gonna be good for the cost, for the company, okay? Okay. Okay, very good. Now the disadvantages, we can, I think that we can start writing on the other hand. Um, Kenya, where are we you, have, Kenya? But we have, um, but we have uh, only seven sentences. Okay. With the, the Teacher, can can we let the paragraph with seven lines? Yes. Can we? Can you leave the paragraph with what? With seven lines. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Now remember. This is the the advantages is one paragraph. Okay. okay. And the disadvantages is another paragraph. 
So each paragraph separated, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's okay, the number. So we, so we have only seven sentences. Yeah, the teacher okay, said no it's problem. okay. It's okay. Okay, no problem. No problem. Okay. Hello, Madeline. How are you today? Hello. I'm fine. Uh -huh. My machine was bad. Okay. My machine was bad. Okay, but you understand what you're doing with Veronica and with Jader? Ah, uh, they they explain me about the the work. Okay, and so everybody has to write two paragraphs. One paragraph talking about the disadvantages and one paragraph talking about the advantages. Okay, since we have three disadvantages and three advantages, when you mention, okay, for example, one of the advantages of implementing a focus group to test a product is not enough stereotypes in the selected audience, okay? In addition, period, in addition, comma, not considering that the participants are part of the target language, period. Furthermore, or besides, or moreover, dominant personality within the group, and you finish the paragraph. Punctuation here is important. So you have to write your paragraph. And then you write your paragraph about the, the advantages the same way. Is that clear? I will give you two more minutes. Two Thank more minutes, guys. How are you doing, Veronica? Uh, uh, only we have two. I have a, one paragraph. Ah, okay. Do the other one. Do the other one. Okay. You have... I will give you three more minutes, okay? Thank you. Okay, write your paragraph, Madeline, two paragraphs, okay? Okay. okay. Um, we have... A different type of fragrance. Oh, oh fragrance. fragrance, fragrance. Mm -hmm. Like or maybe we can say the product have a combination. The product yeah. has, remember, the product, the product has. has. Products has. have, products is plural, products have a combination. No, it's singular. Uh -huh. So the product has. Now, remember here when you were going to talk, you, you don't need to, to do this. You're going to do this later. Okay, but here... Uh, one of the advantages that the product has, that, the pro that this product has different types, different types of customers. And it's cheaper than the other brand. And it's cheaper than the other brand. Okay, so one of these advantages that this product has, uh oh. Is that clear? So here it must be has. One of the advantages is that this product has. Has, exactly. Different, different noise. Also it has. Has different types with S. Of customers and is cheaper than the other brand or is cheaper than other brands. Than other brands, plural. Brand, no, brand, other brands. Uh, comma brands, exactly. Also, it has different presentation styles. Okay, very good. Moreover, uh -huh. Uh -huh. okay, now it's uh -huh. here also. Here you could have put in addition, you could have put a furthermore, besides, okay, instead of also. Remember, also is more like informal, uh -huh. right? So you can use the other transition words. Moreover, now, 
if this, then this has to be a semicolon. The brands, instead of a comma, semicolon, exactly. Moreover, it has different presentation styles. Uh -huh. Now you have, because you already use moreover, now you have to use something else in addition, furthermore, whatever. Is that clear? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Besides, furthermore, in addition. Mm -hmm. Like that? Besides. Besides. With S? With S. Uh -huh. Besides, the product has. Also, we can add. Yes, Rafael. At the uh, found it. For me, it's. Yeah, you can you can use post. also an N, but that makes it more informal, because we are writing it is because we want to make it formal. Now, as you speak, when you say it orally, it's okay to say uh, also an N instead of an in addition or moreover. But when you are going to write a letter or you are going to put it in writing, it's better to use these uh, transition words, okay? 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 Yes. Oh, Rafael went off. Ah, he's back. Okay, what I was saying, Rafael, is in writing, you are more formal. So it's better to use the transition words. Now, if you are going to say orally, you can say also an and is easier. But in uh, writing, because it's more formal, let's use the transition word. Is that clear? Okay. Yes, okay, very good. Bessie? Hello. Okay, did you write your paragraph, two paragraphs? Here we are. Okay. okay, very good. I'm going to leave you. Do you have any question before I go? No. Nope? No yet. No yet. No yet. Not yet. Okay, very good. <laughs> Maybe later. No problem. <laughs> okay, no problem. Daniel. Daniel is with Ninive. I haven't visited this group yet. Oh, funny. <laughs> always you. Uh, speaking Spanish, you know? Okay, remember, that is like the Salvadorians that go to the United States. They live in Los Angeles. They always spoke Spanish, and they come back 20 years later. They can't speak English. Now, so yes. you have to make yourself. You have to force yourself. It is difficult, but I'm going to say what I want to say it in English. Okay, if they don't understand, that's their problem. But I'm going to say it in English. Is that clear? Okay. So take, that take that attitude. Okay. Do you have any questions? No, not teacher. Did you finish <laughs> your paragraphs? Almost, almost. Almost, almost. Almost, almost. Four minutes. Yes. I'm going to okay. check the list. Okay, okay. I'm going to check the list. Let's continue, classmate. Okay. In, okay. in English, Ninive, please. Don't do it for me, do it for you. Don't do it for me, do it for you, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, in English. Okay, in English. <laughs> in English. I'm very yeah, English. About, about the strange and strange. How are you doing? Did you finish? Yes, we finished. Okay, I'm giving the other groups a little more time because they haven't finished. So, uh, you can talk. You can talk about what advantages do you think focus groups have in order to test a product. Go ahead, go ahead and talk. Remember, you come here and there's no reason to keep it quiet, right? So go no, ahead. We, well, keep on talking. Keep on talking. So one more minute, two more minutes, okay? Okay. Okay, very good. So I would like to, to be part to the focus group light. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 really interesting because you can uh, taste a lot of 
for example, I participate in one that tastes a cell phone. And Try. Use, that uh, test. 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 Uh, test. 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 Okay. Because it sounds like taste. Right, like uh, saborear, right? So it, it's test. Test. The test, uh huh. The test a cell phone. The okay, test. Very good. Hey, I like that. Very good. Okay, I'm gonna leave you. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. And test a cell phone, and and they give me the 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 pro. Here since the four p.m. Yes, in my house, it, it was raining all the afternoon since 4, 4 p.m. and oh. until 6 p.m. Hey, good. Yeah. Good, because now we don't have any interference, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, but in my case, I think because you can hear the noise. <laughs> yes. It's a loud. Oh it's yeah, hard. but uh, it, what is worse is is that your uh, uh, internet gets unstable. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah. I, I okay. Hope it lasts long. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did you finish? Yes. Yes. yes okay. Sure. I'm yes. gonna break the. I'm gonna bring you back. Okay, all of you okay. together. Okay. Okay. Thanks. The microphone. Is that where your microphone is off? Yeah, how was your experience, okay, with the focus groups, the advantages and disadvantages? Yes, we speak a yes. lot of, with my classmate. Okay, which is... Was, a, was, was interesting conversation. Okay, and <laughs> at the end, we are going, you are going to organize focus groups, okay? You are going to determine the location based on the product that you have. Okay, so that's going to be the next the next task. Okay. Hey, where are the others? They don't want to come back. <laughs> Madeline, how are you today? I'm fine. I'm fine hey. because my my machine was bad right now, and I unit very late. I join. I join. I join. Joined. Me, me, uh, uni, me uni, I joined very late. I joined very late. Very late. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. What happened with everybody? I don't see everybody here. Let me see. Yeah, everybody's here now. Okay, I'm going to check list. I'm going to check list. Gather. Gather. Mejia. Yader Mejia. Present teacher. Ah, okay, very good. Present. Very good. Blanca Estela is absent today, Blanca. Maria Eugenia. Present teacher. Thank you. Bessie Blanca Estela por ahí andaba, teacher. Ah? Present. Es Blanqui. Present. Okay. Oscar. Eduardo Majano. Present. Very good. Raúl Mauricio Rivera. Oh, Raúl is absent today. Okay, uh, Ninive. Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Marta Beatriz Alegría. Present. Thank you. Álvaro Enrique Rivas. Present. Thank you. Rafael René Molina. Present teacher. Thank you. María Adelina Araya. Presente. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Spoke English. Spanish. <laughs> yes. English. English. Sorry. English. <laughs> Alicia Carolina López Núñez. Alicia Carolina López Núñez. Alicia, what it happened? Was, your microphone. Turn on your microphone, her. Alicia. I saw her. <laughs> Turn on your microphone. Present, present, okay. present, present teacher. Okay, present, very yes. good. Uh, Osman? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, Cecilia, absent. 
Ok, Daniel Osvaldo Pérez. Present. Very good. Verónica Beatriz Mendoza. Present. Very good. Ana del Carmen Núñez. Andrea Alexandra Flores. Ok, Kenia. Present, Ani Núñez. Ah, Ani Núñez, present, ok. Eh, Vanessa Alexandra Armas. Present. Ok, very good. Now, now that you did, now that you did the... The... Transition <laughs> words exercise. Now I want you to take a look at this. I also send this to your groups. Okay? Remember the vocabulary? That is on page 23 on your on your book. Page 23. Okay? Page 23. Page 23 on your workbook. Okay? So you have this vocabulary, targeted sampling. Okay? Can you see it on the on the screen? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. I need a volunteer to read that. It is a purposeful systematic method by which controlled list of a specific population. And within, within geographical districts are developed and detailed plans are designed to recruit recruit. Uh, recruit. Recruit adequate number of case cases within each cases, cases within each of the targets while they are not random. Okay, so this is you know you know the target, you know the audience that you are going to uh, focus make the focus group of. Okay. Random, random means anybody at random, okay? But targeted sampling is, for example, if you are going to, to, if you want to know opinions about chocolate or candy bars, the targeted sampling will be adolescents, right? or teenagers. But if you want to do a random sample, random sample, so you take anybody. Is that clear? Yes. Yes? Yep. Yes, coach. Yes, teacher. Okay, so who wants to read random sample? That is the difference between targeted and random. Okay, targeted goes a specific. For example, if you want to know about a magazine, a women's magazine, obviously you are not going to have in your focus group men. Men, yes. Right? And you won't have boys because they won't give you the opinion. A random sample, yes, you can have anybody. Is that clear? For example, yes. if yes. you are going, sure. hey, sure. if you want to have a focus group to have opinions about ESPN, you know what is what is ESPN? Yes, it's a sports uh, broadcast. So obviously you are going to ask men about that, okay? But if you are going to, if you want to hear opinions about Coca-Cola, probably you're gonna have a random sample. A random, right? right? But for a specific product. For a specific products, you need sure. targeted sampling, right? Targeted sampling. Okay, read random sample, another volunteer. Random sample, sample size calculation with the sample random sampling. How to find sampless, uh, smallest, smallest. smallest sample size they provide a precision. 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 Sample Precision uh, sample problem illustrate key, uh, key points. Key points. Okay, for example, can you see here? I'm going to take this, this, but you see it's not 
one, three, five. No, one, three, six, eight, eleven, thirteen. So at random, right? Not with a specific rule. Okay. So you have not random sampling, systematic sampling, half a star sampling, and selected targeted sampling. Now, random sampling, sample random sampling, a, a stratified random sample, restricted random sampling, un, unequal probability sampling, and especially. So these are types of random sampling, okay? Now, do you remember what is a competitive threat? Veronica, no, let me see. Uh, Vanessa, read this, please. What is a competitive threat? A competitive threat is a competition that hasn't occurred but has potential to occur. In other words, it is a risk of competition. As with any risk, a competitive threat has a probably an Im probability, 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 and impact, and may be traded. Treated. 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 The following are the basic types of competitive threats. Okay, now competitive threats can be the supplier power, right? A competitive threat could be the buyer power, right? For example, who is going to buy your product? That it could be a competitive threat. Now, the supplier, because they can sell it more expensive. Now, the Thread of substitution, when you want to substitute a product. And thread of new entrance, okay? So that is a competition, a competitive thread. Okay, it's not happening, but it might happen. Uh, then. Okay, and what is unbiased? Who wants to read unbiased, please? Unbiased. Um, unbiased. Um, Impartial. Um, on bias, no bia bias, bias, not bias, not bias or prejudice, 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 fair, yes, impartial, impartial. Okay, like for example, the news, the one that administrate the news, they have to be on bias. They have to be impartial. They have to be fair. Do you understand? Yes. They have to be yes. fair. They cannot go like this. Okay. They cannot stand on one side or the other. They have to be part impartial, fair, with not prejudice. Do you understand? Sin prejuicio. Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay. Very good. So that is. On bias. Okay, good. Now, on page 23, you have the same vocabulary. On page 23, you have the same vocabulary. Targeted sample, random sample, competitive threat, and on bias, right? Now, this is what we are going to do in the next half an hour. Group work, organize a plan to run a focus group to assess customer's perception. You want to know the, cost, the consumer's or the customer's perception of the new product. What product? I don't care what is your new product. Okay, I'm gonna put you in groups. You decide a product and then you are going to organize a plan to run a focus group. Obviously, you have to write the questionnaire. What questions are you going to write about your product? You remember the cell phone that they had uh, with the kids and with the seniors? You remember? So they, yes. they run focus group on them now. So you want, you are going to organize a plan to run a focus group to assess customer perception of the new product you design in lesson one. Now, in this one, Take any product that you wish. Specify the steps, the type of sample suitable for the product. Now, what kind of sample do you want? Random or targeted? 
So you are going to decide. Now, the type of sample suitable for the product, the number of focus groups, okay? For example, I need 20 focus groups with 25 participants per group, because or 14, because one is gonna be in San Miguel, one is gonna be in Santana, one is gonna be in, uh, in one, uh, on each department in the country, okay? The location, the type of test, so that is the questionnaire that you are going to run, and the number of items in the questionnaire. When they say the type of test is because we have open questions and closed questions, right? Open, uh, closed questions are the ones that you say yes or you say no. And open questions are the ones that people provide information. Uh, how is it? Ah, it's cold. But if you say, is it cold? They're gonna say yes or no. Is that clear? What you have to do? Yes. Okay, very good. So I'm gonna give you 20 minutes to organize a plan to run a focus group. Determining all these items on your focus group depending on your product. Okay, so we're gonna go to groups, okay? Okay, let me see. In this case, we are going to make it trios, okay? So, oh, oh the chat room, not the chat room. Okay, so we are, let me see. Okay, six, five groups. Here we go. Okay, join your groups, please. Okay, join your groups. Join your groups. Rafael. Bessie, Annie, no. okay, join group number two, Rafael, go to, go to group number two. Group number two, Rafael. Annie Nunez, join group number two, please. Bessie, where are you, Bessie? I am here. Okay, join group number number three. I, I don't have the invitation to join the group. Really? Okay, group no. number three. And now? No. No. Group number two. I was two. thinking that, that this is a group. Which one? Here with Annie and Rafael. Oh, no. Now you go with Alicia Lopez and Ninive. Group number three. Hello, Bessie. Bessie, did you enter? Mrs. Nunez, have you entered? Hello, where are you? 
Enter in room number two. Group number two, Bessie. Annie, group number three. Hello, Bessie. Where are you? Bessie, turn on your microphone. I'm here, but you happened? don't send me. I don't yeah. know. You don't know? Okay, let me. No. Let me. What about group of, group number two? Do you have the invitation for group number two? No. And no. now? No. No. Are you sure? Very sure. And what about group number five? No. I don't have invitation. I don't know why. And now in group number two? No. No. Annie, are you here, Annie? Turn on your your uh, your your microphone, Annie. And now, Annie, and now, Bessie. No, teacher. No, I don't know why. Okay, you wo you work with me. Okay? So we're going to work together. Do you have the page? It's page number... 23. 23. Oh, I think 24. I'm not sure. Let me see. I'll let you know in a minute. It's page 23. Page 23. Okay, so we are going to organize a plan to run a focus group. Okay, what kind of sample are we looking for? Okay, let's determine the problem, Bessie. What problem? Okay. What is the we on problem? The Huh? On the other on the other group we select shampoo. Two products. One. One. Okay. What product? Okay, let's work with that product that you work with I'm in the going, other room. I'm going to share the let me see right over here. Mm. I'm going to share my screen a type of test and here okay okay i can i can share because you I cannot will. start screen share while the other participant is sharing you are sharing Ah, okay, so hold on. Now do it. Share it. Let me check. Okay, very good. Okay. We have right over here the advantage and disadvantage of the product. We select shampoo, the brand Suavecito, type moisturizing and silky. And then... Ah, shampoo. Okay. Yes. Okay. Can you say the plan to run a focus group to assist customer perception of the new product you design in lesson one? Okay, Six, now three, let's go seven. with the first one, Bessie. Okay. Specify the steps. What is the first step? The type of? The type of simple. Uh-huh. Suitable. For the product. For the product. 
I don't know no. what sort of suitable means. Now, that shampoo is specifically for women or that shampoo is for, for men or for both? For both. We say that has different type of customers. So it has both. Okay, so what do you think will be the correct uh, sample to take? Uh, targeted or random? Mm. Let me exactly, see. random. Random, random mm -hmm. because if, if it had been only for women, and if you had like, for example, age uh, from 25 to 40, so that mm. will be targeted, right? But in okay. this case, anybody, it's better anybody because we want to, to know everybody's opinions. Okay, so okay. okay, so write it right there for the product. Write it right there. Random. Uh huh. But it's ram done. Okay, random. Uh, okay, very good. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's okay, random. Uh huh. Okay. Now, the numbers of focus group. The number how many, focus group. How many groups do you think? Okay, let's talk about that you want to cover only San Salvador market. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how many groups are you going to make? How many groups do you think will be okay? I think uh, we can make uh, from eight to 10 groups. Eight to 10 groups, okay, very good. So right, eight to 10 groups. Okay. okay, now the number of participants per group. Uh, from five to six persons or participants. Five to six, do you think that's enough? Um, May maybe more, right? You need more? 10 to 12, let's say less 10 okay. to 12. 10 to 12 participants. Okay, very good. The location. Now, the location. Um, we maybe need uh, not the market. Okay, but maybe okay. We remember need that they, those are shampoos. Where will you sell shampoos? Um, in the market, but also... At the market or at the supermarket? At the supermarket. But uh -huh, so it will, where do we have supermarkets? In all the, the city. Yeah, but where, where? Where are the supermarkets located? Mm, where is the supermarket? Uh-huh, in the malls, right? For example... Not always are in the malls. In Metro Centro, so I will put one focus group in Metro Centro. Mm. One, one. Remember, we have mm -hmm. eight to ten focus groups. Eight to ten focus groups. Uh -huh. okay. So uh, one will be in Metro Centro. One. Okay, right there, Metro Centro, right? I have right over here, beauty salon. But what beauty salon? In, in where? Uh -huh. In where? In... Galerias or galerias. In, galeria, okay. Uh huh. One okay. in. Uh huh. Go ahead. Think. Remember, you have to give me at least eight locations. Oh my God, it is alone in galerias. Uh, in the mall. In what Monte mall? Plaza you mall. To the mall. In multi-plaza mall. Multi-plaza, okay, very good. That's great. Okay. Uh-huh. Where else? Um, let's see. Um let's see. Let's 
centros. Let me check. Moles. Y múltiplas moles. Maybe we can say right over here, Metro Centro. Where? Metro Centro. Uh-huh. San Salvador. We can say Metro Centro and Metro Sur. Well, I think that is too close. Okay, what about but, uh, in, but in they have, di How they have different, uh, different customers? Uh -huh. Metrocentro. Well, you say Metrocentro. that you wanted a random, right? Yes. Okay, so, okay, what about, okay, Metro Sur and Metro Centro, one, one focus group. Leave it, yes, Metro Centro. Okay. One focus group. Okay, uh, how do you call the mall in uh, Soyapango? Is Plaza Mundo. Aha, uh -huh. so one in Plaza Mundo. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you have... call the the shopping center that is in Apopa. Plaza Crist Cristal. Okay, Plaza Cristal will be another one. Okay, we have right over here one, two. Three, four, five. We need three more. Uh huh. Two more. Where else? We need a, a beauty salon. And uh, how what, we? What about the shopping center that is uh, in uh, Autopista Sur? Which one is that? Autopista Sur is a uh, uh, no no a a a. Los Proceres, right? Mm. I don't remember the, where is? You know Los Proceres, right? Yes. Okay, maybe, what do we have in Los Proceres? We have that uh, little shopping center that is in the runabout, uh, Arbol de la Paz. Maybe mm -hmm. there we can have another focus group. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's the name of that that, that place. Uh, la, the other is Plaza Merliot. Plaza Merliot. Beauty Salon in Plaza Merliot. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we have a other beauty salon in, you say, Galerias, the Plaza uh, I don't know what's the name of this near from the 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 university the ah, uh, San Luis Gran Vía Ah the university what university Matias Ah uh, exactly Ah la Gran Vía uh -huh. that is mm -hmm. la Gran Vía okay there you go. I have right over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. And I need one more. One more. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's see. In Mexicanos, Ooh. do we have a shopping center? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't go to the place. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what about that shopping center, Las Terrazas? Las Terrazas. Okay. Okay. Okay, now, the type of test. What type of test? Open questions, closed questions, or both? Both. Both. Okay. So write, write in the type of test, open and close questions. Open. And, uh -huh, close. and close. Close with D. Close. Oh, sorry. Because in the past, uh -huh, close yeah. question. 
Very good. Now, the number of items in the questionnaire. Maybe two or three, no more. Okay, what are, but what are, are they going to be? Now, uh, look, you are, you mentioned that is silky, moisturizing, and what else? Is brand suavecito type moisturizing and silky. Okay, what questions can you ask uh, your customers to see if, if your shampoo is moisturizing, to see if your shampoo is silky? Mm, let's see. Ah, what about the, the smell? Are you going to write a question about the smell? Mm. About the density. Is it too oh. thick or is it too... Maybe we can say, do you like the different uh, fragrances in the product? Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Okay, good. Very good. Write that. Do you like the fragrances? The fragrances. Yes. No. Yes. 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 No. Yes. No. Y. E. S. Uh -huh. Do you like the fragrances of uh, suavecito? Uh huh. Now I would say, if not, if not, right? Question number two. If not. Mm. Which fragrances you don't like? <clears throat> which, which, which fragrances you don't like? Which, qual? Which, which with one? H, uh huh, H, H, E, H. Okay, I, I got it. Wish. Wish, uh -huh, mm -hmm. like that. It's an ish. Okay. Which fragrance? Not. Which fragrancy? Fragrances? You, no, no, fragrances. Okay. Which fragrances you don't like. You don't like. Uh -huh, okay. Okay. Let me see more. Okay, now when you have questionnaire, it's missing an E at the end. When it says questionnaire. That's correct. Okay. When it says questionnaire, it's missing an E. And it's only Where? one end. Uh -huh. Questionnaire. Uh, let me see. Questionnaire. Where? Question. After, after the R is an E. Questionnaire. Here? Yeah, right there. E, e no Y, E. Yeah, questionnaire. And I think it's only one N. Questionnaire. Mm. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay, what other question are you going to ask? Um, how much money? Or oh, how, maybe how much times in a year you buy, you buy shampoo? Okay, so that will be how often? How often? How often do you buy shampoo? Often, like... Often, oh, often, how often? often. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. How often do you buy shampoo? Do you buy? Okay, do you buy, not do you but? Do you buy? I'm sorry. With, with why? It's okay, don't worry, <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry, be happy. <laughs> That's okay. correct. 
Shampoo. How often do you buy uh, shampoo? Shampoo with double O. Yes, that's correct. Uh -huh, okay. okay. Four. Uh -huh, eh. Do you consider the price affordable? Do you consider right? Con like. Do you consider the price affordable? Mm. Consider el precio costeable? Mm -hmm. Do you consider the price affordable? We can say like this too, maybe. Do you consider? Do you consider the reasonable price? Uh -huh. Do you oh. consider? Rate. Do you consider it? Consider. Do you consider it? it a reasonable price? A reasonable. Okay. Question mark. Very good. Okay, what about number five? Mm, maybe... Uh, let me see. Okay, we haven't asked a question about the quality, right? We have exactly. asked about the... I'm looking this one, silky and moisturizing. Uh, uh -huh, okay. Um, let me see. Does the shampoo moisturize your hair enough? How? Does the shampoo moisturize, moist, moisted, moisturize? Moisturize with E after the Z. After the what? <laughs> uh, does okay, does the shampoo? No, does, does, do, does, uh, do does, does, uh -huh. does, does the, the shampoo, shampoo, shampoo. moisturize, moist, uh -huh. instead of ing. Only the mm -hmm. E. Moisturize. Like that. No, I, I, instead of the E, I, I, Z. No, Z, Z, no C. Z. Most, uh, it's Z. like a, let me see. Like this, uh, moisturize. Uh -huh. Z, Z. Set okay. Mm -hmm. Moisturize and E. Uh -huh. Does the shampoo moisturize your hair enough? Uh, uh, enough. I think we can say other. Uh huh. For example, uh, let me see. It's because we say right over here. Oh, ah, okay. Doesn't... Does the shampoo moisturize properly? Your hair enough? Does or the does the shampoo moisturize, moisturize properly? Uh, Put me another pro way. Properly. No, oh, no. Yeah, it, it's your questionnaire. Mm, well, I I'm, I think I I I can use that that, okay. that question. Does okay. the shampoo moisturize your hair enough? Mm -hmm. Okay, number six. Do you need um, like a complement? Do you need a conditioner for the shampoo? Okay. Good, good. Let me see. Do you think hair conditioner is needed? Do you think hair conditioner 
is needed or is mm -hmm. necessary. Mm -hmm. Do you think or do you believe maybe? Uh, uh, it's better, do you think? Do you think? Uh -huh. Think. Think with K. With K. And instead of the G, uh -huh. do you do think? Do you think a conditioner is necessary? Okay. Uh -huh. Hair conditioner. Oh, okay. Is necessary? Okay. Do you have a question number seven? Or mm, we leave I'm, it like that? We can, that's all. Okay. Remember, we are not marketers, right? That's we, correct. We just trying to put into practice the vocabulary that we learn. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Very good. Ah, let me check uh, attendance again. Let's go back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, very good. Let me check attendance again. Jader, Edemer, Mejia. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, Blanca is absent today. Okay, no, Maria Blanca. Eugenia Cruz de Magaña. Uh, present. Okay, very good. Bessie Anayensi. Present. Very good. Oscar Eduardo Majano. Present. Okay, very good. Raul Mauricio Rivera is absent today. Ninive Sarai Hernandez. Present. Okay, very good. Marta Beatriz Alegría Barahona. Present. Okay, very good. Álvaro Enrique Rivas Ángel. Present. Okay, very good. Rafael René Molina. Victor Mike. Present teacher. Okay. Always good. present, Victor Mike. <laughs> ah, hey. Maria Adelina Araya. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Alicia Carolina Lopez. Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Osman Enrique Hernandez. Osman Enrique Hernandez. <laughs> Sleeping. Ah. Ah, sleeping. Ah, sleeping. Ah, sleeping. Ah, sleeping. Ah, okay. Osman, Osman. Cecilia Absent. Okay. Uh, Daniel Osvaldo Perez Aguilar. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, Verónica Beatriz Mendoza. Present teacher. Very good. Ana del Carmen Cortez de Núñez. Microphone on, Annie. Okay, Andrea Alexandra Flores, absent. Uh, Kenya, absent. Okay, and Vanessa Alexandra Armas. Present. Okay, very good. Okay, so this is what we learned today, how to make a focus group, right? And a questionnaire. Okay, I really appreciate for your time and we are going to see you tomorrow, okay? See you okay. tomorrow. Have a wonderful night. Bye, bye. 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 Bye, I will tell her. Very good. Let her write me. Okay, I will tell her to write it, to write you. Okay, bye, teacher. Bye, -bye. have a great night. Okay.